Hello everyone, welcome to Tech Web Dots. Today I am going to share journey graph implementation of graph data structure. So let's move ahead without wasting time. This is the overall agenda of our graph tutorial. So you can see all the green section I have already covered. Even I have also covered the highlighted one undirected bidirectional edges. But I also want to discuss the generic implementation, how it looks like. And in our upcoming session, you can see we will discuss the traversal, depth first search and breadth first search as well. Okay, so don't forget to subscribe for that. And I strongly suggest you to watch these videos. I have already explained uh, gra what is graph data structure and its representation in memory and how adjacency list and adjacency matrix looks like. Now, the generic graph implementation contains very important points. And the best way to explain is through an example only but i would like to discuss a few points before moving for that so to represent a generic graph we take a list of graph node where a graph node is a class representing a single node only and the implementation consists of various fields properties methods like value neighbor and adding of neighbor remove neighbor and that all those kinds of operations so you can see this is our generic graph node and when we will use this graph node to implement the complete graph so this will be the structure on the right hand side of the complete graph that contains the read only properties like how many nodes are there in the graph and how we can add a node in the graph adding edges and lot more before moving further all the edges of our graph are bi-directional you can see in this graph this is a bi-directional graph and I am going to implement in this session an adjacency list. Let's switch to Visual Studio to see all these things in action. This is the same solution that I was using in my all previous videos. This is a simple ASP.NET Core web application that I am using to demonstrate the implementation of generic graph today. Okay, and in previous session, I have also discussed basic graph, standard graph, and today I am going to discuss the generic graph. Okay. So let me uh, explain what we are doing in generic graph class and what are the important factors of this class. Okay, we know what graph we are implementing, but let me show you. So this is our graph node. Okay, you can see I have mentioned the region. So that makes it more meaningful what we are talking about. So this is a generic uh, graph node. Okay, type we will pass at runtime. Okay, so it can work with any data type or custom data type. Okay, in internal variables, we are creating a type of value that we will receive at runtime. And we are also creating a list of graph node. Graph node is a class and type will be passed at runtime. And we are giving it a name neighbors. Okay, so this is our internal variables. Now, in constructor, we are not doing anything specific, but whatever the value that we are using to pass in the constructor we are just setting this value into the graph node and we are at the same time we are also instantiating the list of graph nodes and type will be supplied at runtime don't worry if this point is not clear i will explain again and again okay so next part is the read only properties here you can see the value is read only it means we can only get the value from this property which is a value but we cannot set the property okay now the next read only property is neighbors okay so from this neighbor properties we can return neighbors as read only it means no one can modify or alter the neighbors so now uh, property is enclosed the basic operation of a single node that can be adding neighbors because one node can contain multiple neighbors and the neighbor will be of the same type that is of node okay which will be a graph node and type will be passed at runtime and here what we are doing in neighbors first we are checking either if the neighbor already contains that neighbor if yes then we, we will not perform any operation if no we will simply add that neighbor into the neighbor list of that particular node in remove neighbor again we will just go to the neighbor list and we will remove the neighbor we can also perform additional check here either this neighbor is present or not okay and remove all neighbor simply we are loop through each and every neighbor which are present in the neighbor list okay and we will remove one by one on index basis so all these operation we can perform on single node and two string is the very important one that we are overriding in that especially 
we are setting one node can connect it with many other nodes that we can print out with the help of this to string method this is very very important and i strongly suggest you to take this piece of code it is openly available it's open source on github and you will simply check this method how it is working by applying the some debugger just like this okay and you can simply see okay we are creating a string builder we are saying okay node value which is the current value with neighbors and we are performing loop for each neighbor of the individual node and we are just printing out okay this is very important one and very interesting as well so we have explained what we are doing in single graph node come to the graph now this is a very important part because we are constructing the graph with the help of this class only okay in this graph class I am using a one HTTP context type variable it is just to write onto the response okay so this is not part of the special graph implementation but yes I am using it for the writing to the response purpose only in this section it contains the internal variables of the nodes so you can see I am creating a one variable of nodes and it is actually a list of graph nodes okay it will contains all the information of the nodes now the next section is constructor we are not doing anything in the graph constructor okay so it is completely blank it's up to you how you want to use it but for the time being for this implementation i am just keeping it blank and the read only and the properties count and all so we are creating a one integer type read only property that returns how many nodes are there in our nodes list okay and the second one is the nodes which is again we are returning the read only so that no one can modify our nodes after creating the instance okay now the third important reason is the basic operation of the graph and it contains addition of node in the graph adding an edge in the graph we can perform find remove node remove edge clear and the two string method okay so let's, so let's go one by one so add node is simply checking first we will check either the actual node that we have that we want to add in the graph either it is present or not so if i hit f12 so you will see the implementation of find method actually checking either this node is actually already present or not okay so what we are doing this is a node which is a list of all the nodes of the graph we are applying a for each loop and checking each node if any of the node value is equal to the incoming node it means this node is already present in the graph okay otherwise we are returning null okay so let's go back to the previous statement so first if it is not null it means the graph new node value is already present in that case we will return false else case it means the coming node is not present so we will add that node into the node list this is very simple okay now we are adding an edge because it's a bi-directional graph just keep your uh, concentration here so it's a bi-directional graph so we will receiving two nodes okay this is node one and node two between them i want to add an edge okay so i'm saying this will be a node okay and first we will check either these nodes are present in the graph or not because if these nodes are present only in that case we can add an edge between these two nodes okay now if both of if any of them is null it means we cannot add an edge between these two nodes okay in else case it means node 1 neighbor contains already node 2 in that case as well we cannot add an edge okay because there is an already edge and if all these two cases return false in this third case we will simply in node 1 case we will add the neighbor node 2 and for node 2 as well we will add the neighbor node 1 okay in this way for directed graph only we will use this single statement and for undirected graph which means a bi-directional graph we will add this order as well now we are saying we have add an edge between value 1 to value 2 or you can say node 1 to node 2 or node 2 to node 1 so two edges are added here okay this is very important one now the fine one you have already seen and let's see the remove node as well so first thing we are doing we are checking either the node is present or not if node is equal to null it means there is no such node to remove from the graph in else case we will simply go to the node list remove the particular node 
okay and we will also loop through all the neighbors of that node and also remove them at the same time okay in the remove edge again we are checking either those two nodes are present or not and if any one of them is null we will not perform any operation and and if the particular node 1 in neighbors we are not containing the node 2 in that case as well we will not perform anything because that it means there is no edge in s case we will simply remove the edge between two nodes by simply removing from node 1 node 2 and from node 2 node 1 okay so in this way we are removing an edge between those two nodes okay so now we have already seen in the clear part so we are doing nothing we are just removing all the neighbors of a particular node and this operation we are performing for every node in this way we are simply perform the clear operation on the graph okay and at the end after removing all the neighbors we are removing each and every node from the graph okay so this is a clear operation and the another very important one is to string okay earlier we see the to string method of uh, individual node which was very important to find out all the neighbors of the particular node but now we are again creating a string builder and in that string builder we are applying a for each loop the number of nodes that we have in the graph and then we are saying in node a string every node which is available in the node list we are calling its to string method which is ultimately written the node and all the corresponding neighbors of that particular node okay and this operation we are performing for each and every node which is available in the node list and at the end we are calling node dot to a string which is ultimately a string builder okay this is a very important method that we will use so all these are the very very important part of the graph generic graph implementation this is the print graph method so in this you can see this is a static method it means we don't need to create an instance of it and we are simply passing the graph instance here and we are calling graph dot to a string simple here we are creating a graph so in this region where we are creating with edge so what we are doing we are creating the instance of this class we are passing integer type here okay and there we are passing all the nodes that i have already shown you which is 1 4 5 7 10 11 12 and 42 okay so now the nodes are created now i am adding an edge between these two nodes and these methods you have already seen how these are working so in this way we are simply building the graph by passing these values okay and this is of integer type so let's see how we are calling all these things from our startup class okay so then in this startup class type 1 which is graph using linked list and type 2 non-zero index based graph using custom class we have already discussed in our previous session so we will focus on the type 3 which is a generic class using custom class that we have already seen so what we are performing here in the very first thing we are using a build graph method we are calling the integer type calling the build graph simply okay after that we will get the graph and after that what we are doing we are simply write to the response okay this is a generic bidirectional graph and it's showing adjacency list implementation and at the end we are calling the print graph method so if i hit f12 here again you have already seen print graph is doing nothing it is simply performing the two string operation on the graph okay and the graph is of integer type so let me save all the changes and run the solution to see the output this is the output that we are getting after running our solution so node 1 is connected with one neighbor which is 5 and node 4 is 1142 don't worry about the piece of code the piece of code is available on my blog as well and on github repo as well you can check out the link in which is given in the description of this video let me show you in the presentation this is exactly the same this was the graph that we were implementing and this is the exact same output that you are seeing node 1 is connected with 5 and node 4 is connected with 1142 and so on so this is the simplest way to implement the generic graph in terms of bidirectional graph i hope you like this video if you have any question any comment you can leave into the comment box your feedback is very important that's the only inspiration for me to create such videos and i will see you in the next video where we will discuss depth first search and the breadth first search graph okay till then bye bye and don't forget to like and subscribe see you in the next video bye bye